Hello friends, thank you so much for joining me tonight. This video is about crystals for Sagittarius season. So let's get started. Start by lighting my intention candle as always. So, my intention for you tonight that I put in these quartz crystals and send out to the world is that you'll find alignment with your soul, with your highest self, your path, and your destiny, and that I'm able to help you along that path in any way that I can and also for you to have a wonderful relaxing evening full of restful and healing sleep and I'm gonna start out tonight with a little bit of Palo Santo for our cleansing and I love you using Palo Santo because I find that it does such a wonderful job balancing fire and water energies and having just come from Scorpio season from water to fire Sagittarius being a fire sign we can balance those energies Help us find a more relaxed and meditative state. Letting this fire season warm you up a little bit. Penny's back there. She is underneath her blanket. <laughs> so, Sagittarius season. <laughs> um, this time of year is really powerful. Um, Sagittarius is uh, ruled by Jupiter. And Jupiter is all about expansion and growth and being um, just increasing your horizons, adding facets to your being, um, being just open and um, yeah, growth, expansion and um, Sagittarius energy is so beautiful and powerful and um, you know it's represented by an arrow and Sagittarians tend to be really um, straight shooters they are after the goal and um, you know it's like firing a, a bullet they're goal-oriented they're straight um, toward their path and they're um, incredible manifestors, so I think probably the best manifestors out of all of the signs. Um, even more so than the earth signs um, can be sometimes. So I just love this time of year. It's so beautiful with the solstice as well. So you've got this energy um, where you're getting ready to expand, and grow into the new year, and you are 
manifesting and the light is returning to light your path to your um, next year and your um, you know your your destiny and even though astrologically the new year um, isn't for a few more months um, we still can celebrate the solstice as a marker for um, the light returning and um, a fresh start and new beginnings and things like that so it's such a beautiful time to um, put a bow on things release everything from the past year and just really start manifesting your um, your next steps your next year and your next chapter so I don't have a ton of crystals for Sagittarius um, I think they can be one of the most complex signs of all of them um, so multifaceted that it's hard to capture them in just sort of one generalized um, bucket but um, the, I do have one crystal that stands out really strongly for Sagittarius season and the frequencies that I get so the electromagnetic um, frequencies that come through for me are a warm pink color, a white, and um, a deep sort of um, Kelly green color. And um, the main crystal that resonates with this energy for me is rhodochrosite. And You'll notice it's similar, so I have in Leo season, um, I use rhodonite, and they're very similar. They're one of, so rhodochrosite is a carbonate, and rhodonite is a silicate. And you can see it's a yummy pink color, beautiful juicy crystals and little white snow on this one. It's so perfect. This piece is from Colorado. Colorado actually has um, some of the world's best rhodochrosite. And you know, like I said, for, for some reason with the fire signs, I just really feel um, a warm pink red you know with Aries we had more of a red but um, there's just something about that that warmth and that juiciness that really um, works well for fire season to me and I think rhodochrosite is probably one of the most juicy crystals that there is I would say that I've said that about garnet but um, energetically rhodochrosite is very warming it's it's melting so it will melt trauma and um, you know when I speak about melting energetically I just mean that when we get scared or we get um, any kind of a traumatic experience that's a freezing in our body you know we go into fight or flight or freeze and it's um, stagnation in the body it becomes lodged and we have to be conscious and mindful about how we release it or it can cause disease or dis-ease so rhodochrosite is one of my most favorites for melting the body, the, not the body, but traumatic frozen places in the body. And it's got manganese, which works with the heart. 
And this piece, you can tell, um, is just so yummy. I love this piece to work with on the body. I use this in my practice all the time. And so if you ever worked with me, I probably placed this on your heart at some point. Um, and it's like a, a warming, spicy crystal. And I think to, you know, to me, Sagittarians are very um, aligned with their heart space. So the manganese and, and protocrosite um, helps, helps you identify and um, brings awareness to the heart space and helps you start, you know, shoot that arrow right to your dreams and um, your path. So the other reason that I love this crystal for Sagittarius is that it grows in what can be called a botryoidal formation. And you can see it looks kind of like a brain, but it's it's a stalactite, basically. So you can see there's concentric rings here. And it starts as one little thin stalactite and just grows and grows concentrically out. So there's your... Um, Jupiter expansion. This crystal really um, feels like it adds um, material. It's it's helping you expand energetically. It's ener it's expanding your field. Uh, it's it's helping you expand your chest and bringing air in your lungs and taking up more space. So if you've had trouble um, feeling like you don't take up enough space, uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful crystal to work with for that. So rhodochrosite is my most favorite crystal for Sagittarius season. And the other crystal that I think is in alignment with this same sort of um, growth and expansion in, in a similar way is malachite. And malachite captures that um, sort of Kelly green color. And this piece that I have is a really, really special piece. This is an unpolished piece from China. And you can see it's just so shimmery. It looks like it's covered in glitter. And this feels like such a holiday <laughs> crystal. Um, but if you can't imagine, you know, just feel the energy from this and how these bubbles are bubbling out and expanding. Um, see if I can bring my focus back. There we go. Okay. Um, so malachite is a copper mineral and copper is a superconductor of chi um, or ki or prana or life force energy. Um, whatever you'd like to call the, the same energy we've all been working with for hundreds of thousands of years and I think that's so appropriate too for Sagittarius because it's really about that um, that, it, that, um, that quick um, conducting of energy so being able to channel energy and manifest it. And green is said to be one of the best colors for manifesting in this physical plane. So Sagittarians are often so wonderful about taking things from the ether and making them into manifest in this plane. 
So um, I think the copper is incredible for that. It, it really just adds an extra um, layer of efficiency to manifesting and to just amplifying energy as well. This is another piece. And Malachi is often said to um, amplify energy, which is, again, perfect for Sagittarius and the um, big, expansive energy that they bring. You can see this looks like it's bubbling up and out. It's got some glitter on it, too. And... Um, I, these are more display pieces. Um, if you're going to work with malachite, I would recommend a polished piece. This is one of the first pieces I got. You can just see these concentric circles radiating out, rippling out effects into the world. Malachite is an incredible crystal for um, for transformation and for just allowing yourself to take that extra leap, that extra step that's always given you trouble in the past, but um, you just need to make that one big sort of jump into the next chapter and into the next step. It might be really scary. Um, but Malachi has got your back and will give you that extra courage that you need. Um, so I love working with these two together. They're so powerful and make such a beautiful combination, these two. So highly recommend. I'm working on getting some Malachite, um, Again, it's one of my favorite stones to work with on the body. Um, it's one of the most powerful and efficient crystals. Um, it's To me, it's similar to Moldavite, but it's more accessible. Um, so it works more with the physical plane, where Moldavite might be a little more extraterrestrial. Um, Malachite helps you work in this realm and um, work on maybe physical things. So um, it's, again, so beautiful for um, just moving energy. So if you need to, you got to melt the energy with this one, or melt the trauma, and then move it with this one. Those are the main two, and um, the other that I have, so to talk about um, Sagittarius in another way, so we've got kind of the, um, the fire element that's the bold and reaching out and growth and expansion and um, change and just being driven and um, courageous. So that's the fire element. And then Sagittarius almost has this air element too. So you might have heard them um, referenced like the philosophers or they're very, they can be very um, in the mind and intelligence and weighing out big concepts and trying to understand the mechanics of how the world works and how people work and um, just really this this again comes with being able to zoom out and see a big you know full perspective in, in a way that um, the other fire signs may not you know Aries is so laser focused that they're gonna miss the bigger picture but Sagittarius is able to really um, step back and look at this, the whole thing. Um, so I also like to um, relate that, those sort of higher mind concepts, 
with the phosphate group and um, again with the solstice and return of light um, you have the phosphates that bring light um, and by light I mean metaphysical light so energetic light to this realm from the ether and for that I have pink appetite this piece is um, an incredibly rare piece it's um, tough to find them gem quality like this and the size is very large this one's very gemmy and beautiful and it has these super cool mica um, books we call them mica books because they're like little pages of thin sheets and it's really geometric and cool and um, you can see them there they're so gorgeous pieces really cool um, and again we've got that same sort of juicy pink color that's so perfect and we also have the added um, bonus of it being a phosphate mineral and I've talked about appetite a ton it's one of my favorite crystals and again this one is so perfect for manifesting because it's accessible. We've got appetite in our bones, in our body, and it's very present in this earth plane. And it's also phosphorescent and fluorescent. This one lights up a really neon yellow color. You can see this one actually finally worked well, but um, that means that it's able to take energy and store it and transmute it, transform it into a different type of energy. So again, we're bringing this etheric light in and changing it and bringing it into the physical realm. So um, it works well with that manifesting, um, with making things happen, with um, making your dreams come true and your goals. Um, everything manifests and we've got that phosphorus light returning with the solstice so um, again I just love appetite um, for that and the last one that I've got this is an extremely rare material um, I'm really just talking about it because I love it a lot and um, I think it's extremely resonant um, but this material is very hard to come by and uh, it's also very expensive so it doesn't look like much but this is called Berylonite um, or Berylonite I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it but it is a phosphate version of the barrel family so like aquamarine um, or goshenite which is the clear barrel this is more of a clear color um, it's got a little bit of a pink tinge to it and some of them can have a pink tinge but um, it's it's the barrel group but in the form of a phosphate and the vibration on this crystal is extremely high um, it's a very potent little crystal and I think the energy is so perfect um, to kind of access those higher thought planes those um, more conceptual more abstract planes mental planes and also just working with the light um, it, it plays so well with these other crystals to really kind of raise the level um, so I'm just going to hold this in front of the camera 
and send some energy through it so that you don't have to buy one yourself. Um, I, you can refer back to this video and use the energy of this crystal through the video. I promise this works. I've done it a hundred times. Um, sometimes it can even be more potent than working with a crystal in real life. Um, the barrels transcend space and time better than any crystal that there is. Um, they have incredible quantum properties. So um, if you have some time, look up the quantum properties of emerald or aquamarine and um, you can go down a rabbit hole. But I just want you to um, be able to take a little bit of time and I'm going to send energy through this crystal for you so that you can feel its vibration, feel how high in resonance the frequency is. I'm sending, you know, life force energy, chi energy through this crystal. Help you raise your vibration. Help you zoom out and see the bigger picture to um, gain perspective and get a clear view of all of the pieces that you have to orchestrate and weave together to align to your path and to your next steps in this year. So, um, I hope that was helpful. And, um, this is a shorter video because, you know, we got, I got my arrow and I'm just shooting straight for the, for the goal. <laughs> so, um, I, I love Sagittarius season. It is my favorite time. Um, you know, Jupiter also brings a lot of luck. So carry this, this luck energy with you into the next year and, um, abundance, abundance is the other one. It's, um, Sagittarians tend to be just so lucky and abundant and, um, blessed with Jupiter's energy. I've always, ever since I was a little girl, um, really, really connected strongly with Jupiter and, um, I just love this time of year so much. It's, it feels like you are sort of um, lighting the pilot light and um, getting ready to fan the flame so that you're able to just take off and be successful. And what, what could be, you know, a better time of year than, than this for sort of, um, prepping and gathering all your resources and zooming out, getting all your puzzle pieces ready, putting them into place, and um, just shooting straight for your dreams. So it's definitely time. Um, Rhodochrosite is fairly easy to find. Um, you can get and tumbled stones and um, I would definitely recommend if you don't have one of these to get one and of course malachite is pretty easy to find too so um, I hope that this has been helpful I think I've only got one more zodiac um, video to make so maybe I'll start a different series next. Um, I am open to suggestions on what you guys might like 
to hear and learn about. Um, I'm going to be probably recording some classes that will be available for an energy exchange and um, lots of fun things coming. Um, the next video I've already done and it is a crystal and sounds video. So um, I had a blast making that one and just as something a little different. Um, so yeah, let me know what you'd like to learn about. Um, and let me know if you like the um, crystal tapping sounds or if you like things like um, visual triggers, that kind of thing. Um, and I just, yeah, I want to make videos that um, everyone can resonate with and enjoy and get something from. So, yeah, next year is going to be incredible. I'm so excited. I've got tons of things in the works. Um, and I will share more with you soon. But um, until then, I hope you are having incredible holidays and um, that your new year will be so blessed and abundant and everything that you want it to be. Um, 2023 is the year for aligning with yourself, aligning with your path. Um, the intention that I've been putting out in my candle every every video it's time you know we're we're making that manifest now it is the you know the the age of aquarius like i've mentioned before and reality is malleable we can do what we need what we want um so it's about finding your heart space tuning into your heart and listening to your heart and what lights you up and what you're doing out of love and um, making sure to any actions, any decisions that you make from here on out, make them through love and not fear. And that one, that one decision will... Um, set your soul on fire that will set everything in motion to um, align you with with your highest path in this go round and you know that's what we're here for so um, thank you so much for being here with me tonight uh, we, we had a snow tonight um, so I felt like it was the perfect time to record a video and have my beautiful little snowy rhodochrosite crystal. Um, well, that's fine. <laughs> anyway, um, stay safe, and um, I'm sending you so much love and blessings and abundance. And again, thank you. I love you. Good night.